What is up guys, this is Coast Channel and welcome to another video. Now today is the Friday upload, pre-recorded Monday evening, and that is Drayton Manor's. Now Drayton Manor, I, I'm sure UK theme park enthusiasts will agree with me, Drayton Manor are starting to struggle. They're looking like a park where if they don't invest soon, Thomas Land will be the, um, the only thing dominating the park. And once the Thomas Land sponsorship deal goes uh, uh, falls through and negotiations are over, once that licensing's gone, then Drayton Manor are in deep, deep trouble if they haven't invested loads by that point. Um, some of you may agree with me, some of you may not, but in my opinion, Thomas Land's the only thing driving this park at the minute. There, there are some great rides, but I haven't been since 2009, and that pretty much takes to you what I believe for this park. Yes, they invested in Ben 10 Ultimate Mission, which became his Accelerator in 2017. Originally opened in 2011, which is the Vekoma Family Boomerang, and they've invested in other great rides such as Air Race. But it's the greats like Excalibur I used to love as a kid, Pirates Adventure I loved as a kid. It was one of my favourite dart rides in the UK, one of my favourite dart rides in the world. But now it's just slipping down the rankings because I've done new dart rides like Darren Brown's Ghost Train at Thought Park. Some of you may disagree with that, but Darren Brown's Ghost Train is fantastic. The way it's constructed, the way it's created. The VR element I hate, but it's not the VR that makes it for me for Darren Brown's Ghost Train. It's the live action elements and the, the illusion of being on this Victorian train carriage with the inside of a modern tram or a train from the modern days inside with, with the design. So, And I love how they had to touch you as well. So. It's a very interesting dart ride, and Pirates Adventure, because it's been SBNO and standard but operated for so long, it's slipping down the rankings. And this isn't me getting on at Drayton Manor, this is just me giving some hard-hitting facts that Drayton Manor just aren't cutting it at the minute. And that all they've got is a deep, they've got a decent theme park. It's not amazing, it's not extraordinary, it's not outrageously entertaining. It's decent for the UK, and that's not what we... we we, we need the UK to showcase their parks to the best of their ability. And Drea Man is just not up to that standard at the minute right now. Um, they've got some great flat rides, don't get me wrong. Apocalypse at Drayton Manor, the, the big drop tower from Intamin, that's fantastic. That's one of my favourite flat rides now that Ripsaw's been deconstructed. Ripsaw was up there when it was before it was deconstructed. And I'm just sad that Drayton Manor's not getting to that stage. There's... Pirates Adventure needs, in my opinion, so this video is all about the future of Drayton Manor. What does the future hold for Drayton Manor? And I want to share five different ways they can do that. So, first of all, for Drayton Manor, spend a few years, five, six, maybe even seven years at, at least, minimum, not focusing on Thomas Land one bit. Maybe spruce it up a bit, give it some new paint jobs here and there every season, keep it nice and fresh, but don't add anything new to Thomas Land for a good seven or eight years now. Uh, between five and seven years minimum, maybe even more, because Thomas Land seems to be the main focus for Drayton Manor. I know they're going for a new family market instead of the thrill market, and that's kind of one of the main reasons why I think G-Force closed, as well as it's bad maintenance, breaking down, can't afford to repair it. Because uh, they have to focus on the rest of the park as well, so I can see why they closed it for that reason. But again, they're going for a more family market. I get that, but don't focus on Thomas Sign. Add some new family rides that's not Thomas related in areas of the park where they desperately need rides. That comes on to my second point: reopen rides that you know are going to get the job done in terms of bringing in guests, bringing in families. Pirates Adventure does that. Excalibur, it's had its time, but maybe if you put it, like, close off the site, put a building inside, and do, like, a dart ride experience in there, that would be a perfect site for another dart ride, as well as reopening Pirates Adventure. One year where it should be the year of the dart rides. Reopening, refurbishing Pirates Adventure to keep its Pirates Adventure, but refurbish it so it's nicely spruced up. New animatronics. Maybe even a new story. I know when they refurbished The Haunting, uh, it was a few years ago now. 2015, 2016, around about then. Um, you know, y y they did a fantastic job with that from the reviews that I saw, from the images that I saw f compared from old to new. If you don't know what The Haunting is, basically it's like Hex at Alton Towers. It's a Vekoma Madhouse, but it's, it's set inside this paranormal activity sort of uh, facility um, in this mansion. So... Uh, it's a very. I I did the. I haven't done the new version yet. I did the original before it got refurbished. Um, into in a few years ago. So, I did the original. It was all right, but it wasn't all task standard. So I would like to get back out to Drayton Manor as soon as possible to try out the new refurbished haunting. Um, reopen and refurbish Paris Adventure, like I said. But get Excalibur enclosed and build a third dart ride because Excalibur 
site as a dart ride would be perfect. Could you imagine what they could do with that site as a dart ride? Coaster, I wouldn't see it really now because they're aiming for that family market, but as a dart ride, my god, that would be incredible. And that comes on to uh, my third point, coasters. They need one or two coasters. Replace G-Force with a coaster. And also, there is a... If you guys see on Google Satellite or any of the maps, there's a, 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 a decent plot of land where the Vertigo uh, Go Ape uh, site is. Um, and part of the Buffalo Mountain Coaster, I guess. So, my guess is... Replay, get rid of Buffalo Mountain Coaster, get rid of the Vertico Go Ape, or just keep it as it is and just shorten the sight of it, but make sure it's near that new entrance gate, and just build a new coaster in that site, or replace G-Force with a new coaster. Don't replace G-Force with a few family rides from the ground up, and just get rid of everything else so it doesn't look as high or anything. This is action part we're talking about, the area where G-Force is in. This is all about action, thrill, high octane, even Family Thrill still counts. Air Race is a Family Thrill borderline ride. But G-Force is a thrill coaster. You need a thrill coaster that's in your price range. Something like a Eurofighter would do for Drayton Manor. They're up to that stage where, where I don't mind them doing a Eurofighter. I know Saw the Ride gets bad reviews, but I love Saw the Ride. I think it's one of my favourite coasters. It's in the top ten for me for Saw the Ride because... People have said, oh, I saw the ride, it gets rougher with age. I think it's got smoother with age, because I did it, the first time I did it back in 2015, it was a year before Darren Brown first opened originally, uh, it was during construction, in fact, um, I did I did that the first time in 2015, and it was it was good, it was a little bit of rough bits, but not too much, but then I did it a couple of years later, in 2017, when Rise of the Demon came in for Darren Brown's Ghost Train, and I did... I loved it even more because the rougher bits didn't seem that rough. It may be different for the people, for different builds, different bodies. I don't know, but I think a Ghost Hour Eurofighter would work at Drayton Manor if they sort of, if they get Ghost Hour to sort of make modernise it. Don't make it an Infinity Coast like a Smiler, unless they were going to do lap bars instead of over the shoulders, because the over shoulders hurt last time on Smiler, and that's why that coast is outside the top five now. Um, but you see. Other types of coasts they could go for. I mean, the newer Vacomas, I guess, maybe not in the price range now. Um, but it, it would help. It would help. I mean, if they had the price range, one of those Vacoma flying coasts or one of those brand new suspended thrill coasts that they've been showing off at IAPA, and there's a video about the Vacoma concepts, which I'll link along with the best best video on Playbar, which I always do in my editing. Um, I'll also put a link to the Vacoma concepts video, which is nearly on 100 views, which is fantastic, so thank you very much for that. Um, and thank you very much for the Logger's Leap video being over 100 views, like nearly 110 now, so thank you very much for that as well. Um, it's just... They need coasters, so they need to reopen rides that are SBNO, like Pirates Adventure, like the Excalibur site, get that spruced up. Um, stop focusing on Thomas Land for a long time. Get new coasters in. Get entertainment outside of Thomas Land. Get so do what Alton Towers did. I mean, I remember the... Um, I know Scarefest, they brought in the Ancestors sp sp specifically for Scarefest, so that's particularly a Halloween thing. But what Autumn Towers did during the season, they brought in the Park Keepers. They did like a, a do I don't know, just like bring like extra actors in as a, as a, as a cleaning team or something, like a clear-up team, and then every so often go to a specific site and do a flash mob for a couple of minutes, but do it every hour or every hour and a half or something, or every even every half an hour just for the start of the day and then do like a meet and greet somewhere in the park where you can have a photo with the cleanup team the flash mob cleanup team should we say hashtag Drayton Rocks and that leads me on to my final point concerts and events the firework display is brilliant at Drayton Manor so I've heard um, I heard this year's was fantastic as well so um, they've done themes with their fireworks displays why not do more events and concerts and stuff like that do some do some more events like I know Alton Towers did Alton Towers live when Smile first opened in 2013. Do something like that, like a, again, like a hashtag Drayton Rocks, and get some big get some stars in to do a concert live on stage at Drayton Manor. Maybe even use Excalibur's site, fill the lake in, and do a concert on the lake. 
how cool would that be if they weren't going to do Excal Excalibur's Sight into a Dark Ride, do it as an amphitheatre space and create more entertainment. So there's that, that's five ways that Drayton Man need to improve. New entertainment, new coasters, don't focus on Thomas Land, reopen um, current rides. Just, that's, that's pretty much all I, I need to say really. It's just... Straight up, man, I need so much work over the next few years. It's not even a two-season, three-season job. It's going to take about five, six, maybe even seven seasons to get that part back up and running again. Otherwise, and I'm being generally serious here, if they can't focus on the rest of the park, then the Tom and the, and if the only if probably not going to happen, but if the Thomas Land deal falls through and they have to refurbish the rise to make it an original brand, then the park's going to decline. If they can't invest anymore, and that. Thomas Land deal happens, then they get they're gonna get to that stage where in like 10, 15 years time, if the sponsorships have gone and they're not getting much attendance, they're gonna have to close the park. And it's really, really sad that they might have to do that in 15, 20 years' time. Because I love that park so so much. And I would I want to see this park get success. So comment down below your thoughts. What do you think is gonna to happen to Drayton Manor? Um, what do you think will happen? What do you think might happen? What do you th what do you hope to happen with some of the rides? What do you hope to happen to the park in general? But that's just what I feel. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'll be back on Sunday with another video. You notice I'm t in fact I'll be back on Saturday tomorrow as you're watching this for another video because um, I'm going to be doing one video uh, on Saturdays and Sundays uh, and it'll be one video every day. So it'll be like. A Monday, a Wednesday, and a Friday, as well as the weekend. So there'll be five videos per week. Four, well, if we're counting Sunday as a new week, uh, like some people do, it'll be four per week. So thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of YouTube content. Make sure you follow my Instagram at Aaron Jana Official. Yes, it's not capital, it's lowercase letters, but we've done it in that font style just because. And my name is Coast Chal. Keep living the Coast Lapper Do's, and I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Take care. Have an awesome day. I need a drink of water after that Drayton Manor rant. Whew.